is Tem here. Chaotic Tem has taken over the channel. I still don't sort out my fucking hair from the other video. Fuck it. It's part of my image. Fuck it. You don't like my hair? Fuck you. I'm an anime protagonist. It's fine. Anyway. We got 10 more Sun Moon packs in round number 7 of this series. 7. So, calculate that for yourself. We've opened like a whole booster box at least so far. We've almost opened like 2 booster boxes worth. I think. But we've got more of them. So let's try and get another Hyper Rare. We've gotten two so far, because we've got the Solgaleo, we've got the uh, Gumshoes. I traded the Gumshoes, because of course it's a non trade one, so of course I'm going to trade it. Because people want that stuff, and I want to get packs out of it. Anyway, we've got an Incineroar, to start off with. Alright, got a place out of that now, pretty much. If you include the one trade locked, which I do. Got eight, only eight water energies. Dupider, Pinsir, or Candy. We've got a Reverse Hollow Instant or a Rare, okay. And the Hairy Mama. Alright. I like the Reverse Rare Instant Rares, actually. They're actually really cool. Fairy Energy. We've got 16 of that now. Another How. How are you doing? Reverse Hollow Katsuki, which is adorable. And a Kangaskhan is a holographic. Again, with useless hollows. I, I totally read that as CrossFit at first. Like, a Kangaskhan that does CrossFit? Although I do like that art of Kangaskhan. The opponent signed a Pokemon as new illusions to study more. For the four coins, the two damage reach heads. Eh, uh, It's gonna be useful... sometimes. I can see there being a trick coin start with this, but that's about it. Also, Passimian. Just now a playset of that. A tradable playset of that anyway. Let's have nine of those. How many of those? What, we got five and we got eight trade-like ones. We got an EV. We got an Alolan Persian. Nice. Taunt. Wow, that's a dick move. Plus it's it's more it's not so much oh your opponent can, it's you switch it. You choose what to switch it for. So this is like Pokemon catcher, only more irritating. I'm glad they have some of these moves which are like no energy cost. Reverse Rare 2 Cannon. That's really cool. Can't really see Reverse Hollow Pattern very well in these. Oh, you can sort of see the uh, stars. So that's how the Reverse Pattern looks on the normals. And a Crocodile, which is another Hollow. Sure, we're getting Hollows. So what, that's two Hollows so far? That's not bad. We're ha almost half. We're about halfway through at this point. We've got two Hollows. That's nice. These almost look like... Do you remember the black and white energies? The actual physical energy looks a lot like that. Uh, reverse Corsola. <gasps> oh, we got a secret rare! We got a secret rare! Oh my god! So that's what, we have a Nest Ball in a previous episode, and then we got the Rotom Dex. Is this still banned? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> got the Rotom Dex secret rare! I have a feeling that's going to be very useful once it's unbanned, once they figure out how the fuck not to glitch out their fucking secret rares. But I had so much luck with this set. Like, the pull rate is bad, but because there are so many secret rares, you have more of a chance to pull the secret rares. But you have less chance of pulling anything. That makes sense. We've got a reverse rare, which is Vikavolt, which is normally a hollow. And that's probably one of the best hollow cards in this set, because you can search for energies and attach. And that's a powerful attack, regardless of which way you slice it. And we have a Primarina. Nice. That was cool though, the Rotom Dex. Oh. Psychic Energy. Small. Blow and Diglett. Which I'm actually running one of in my, my Stir Platinum deck at the moment. Uh, I'll probably run it up four with the Alone and Dug Tree as well. Again, I'm running it because of its Spelunk attack. Pretty much no other reason. Rainbow Energies are good. Reverse Bounce Sweet. And there we go, Rabombe! Rabombi! Harambi! Nice. I think I have to reverse of that for my, um, tree locked. Um, when you attach this from one of your Pokemon, put one damage counter on that Pokemon. Just one? What's the point? Okay. What? What? 17 fairy energies? Fuck. Small Trump. Small verb. 
small bear, small cat, zoo yard, ball. Oh, stinny! Nice, that's something common, right? I have, actually have quite a few of those. I was wondering what the freaking thing in bald one, because in, um... Oh, this is stage 2. No, stage 1. So, what, Lorantis evolves from that or something? Mm hmm. Um, Boy World, Firo, and of course... Get in the bag. Bitch! Get in the fucking bag! Now all I need is a Cosmog. Then I can really say get in the fucking bag. How many of these do I have? Ten of those. Alright. Team Skullgaran! Best card. And of course... Fuck. Beware! That's just kinda cute. Also, Ray Candy Reverse is really good. And last pack magic. What can we end with? Well, we've got electric energy. Just what, 14 of those? We got a big masalada. Or is it malasada? Okay. Crowbat, which is normally a hole, I think. Big malasada. And a toucanon. A toucan. A toucanon. A toucanon. A toucanon. Why am I trying to say it in such an unusual way? Let me just check this. No, it doesn't. I thought that. Oh, no. Oh, it's. Sarina? So what? It's a sweet. That becomes a. Uh, is that a clover? Is that a is that a garlic? Is it a garlic? So it's a sweet that it was it a sweet pea that evolves into a garlic that evolves into a, a radish maybe? I don't get it. Why is it a voluptuous legs? Why is it like metaton if metaton were made out of vegetables? I I don't understand. But anyway, I think we did really to the well. Most of the, the set, some of the set's finer points were in the reverse hollow rares, because obviously there's a lot of regular rares. So getting some of those are really good. Anyway guys, I'm going to call the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought the best pulley opening was. Maybe you think it was me, the Rotom Dex. <laughs> Fuck you, Rotom Dex, you edgy motherfucker. You just want to be so edgy. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon openings. You probably notice this is out much later than the others. That's because I think after six rounds, you know, you've had enough to have a nostalgia period. So these will be just regularly scheduled from now on. So you'll be seeing more of these as part of the regular scheduled system from now on. So let's get a JSAC signing off. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my shizzle. Bye. Bye.